So the UK MOD and the Royal Navy in particular are looking to embrace technology to improve their capability uh, and their warfighting effect. So um, they're setting up a series of trials and exercises where they're inviting industry as a whole across the world to come and demonstrate their capability and prove what the art of the possible is for the future and what, what the Navy in particular will be able to do, especially in the mine hunting capability, which is why we're up here in Scotland. I think the big thing for everybody, I mean, mines are getting smarter and smaller, so they're more difficult to find. But actually the biggest thing these days is actually speed. The quicker you can clear a minefield, the quicker the shipping can get back moving. Commercial shipping needs to get move as quick as possible. We saw that when the Suez was closed for a few days. The quicker we can clear a minefield, the better, which is why technology like we're demonstrating over here is so important. The AQS-20C um, is unique in that it has four sonars uh, on board. So it has two side scan sonars, which are the main part of the capability. And they're actually looking out sideways from the body. And it's a standard synthetic aperture sonar used to find bottom mines or mines on the bottom of the sea. Side scan sonars traditionally, well, have to look sideways. Uh, that's how they work. Um, and so there's always a gap directly underneath the body where you can't see. So what we've done is added a digital a sonar which fills that gap so now we can see the whole of the sea floor and we can then cover the, the area much, much quicker. Some sonar manufacturer could be brought into the UK, but broadly the whole system is more than suitable for being manufactured into in the UK. The mechanical launch and recovery system in particular would be perfect for local manufacture. So the, the American Navy have uh, understood for a, a number of years now that uh, towed bodies, mine hunting sonars are a good way forward, but they've now come to a conclusion that the best way forward is to use a unmanned surface vehicle to tow that body. And they've now got 10 bodies in service with another 10 on order ready to go out and, and use operationally. The UK Navy is looking at the same sorts of systems um, and I've got a program with the French at the moment to investigate how they could do a similar system. WiseX is looking at how other navies around the world, the American Navy as well, we're demonstrating the AQS-20C here just to, so that we can look at the broader program for the Royal Navy and how they can move forward in a similar way.